hello and welcome once again in this video i'm going to show you how i made this bunny which is my best seller on etsy so far i've made quite a lot of them and it's very small and adorable and really easy to make i'm going to show you how i make it taking some cordial slivers for the core wool and rolling it into a rectangular shape and this is going to be the body and it's a small bunny so it doesn't have to be too big it's just a nice barrel shaped body and then the head I just rolled it and with my needle I'm shaping the face as well and now I've attached it on top of the body Using my owl tool, I'm going to put the eyes in using plastic eyes. I've put the eyes in while the head was still squishy and not really well done because I want to place the eyes in and then shape it with my needle. So I'm going to make it firm on the later stage, but I want the eyes to be in first so as you can see I'm using my needle to shape the rest of the face after the eyes are in you have to be careful of the eyes that they are symmetrical and they don't look odd so when you're sure they're in the right place you can keep going and make the face firmer and I'm using carded wool to give it color and I've started with the eyes so I'm using dark brown color around the eyes with a lighter color I've made a cheek it's kind of a triangle and I'm attaching it right below the eye and for the front part of the mouth I'm using white with two tiny bits of wool and these are going to form the upper part of the mouth and making another triangle for the other cheek and I'm going to make another one but we need three triangles in total so two are for the cheek and one is for the head and it's going to come right down to the nose I'm giving a lighter color to the nose and you can add any shade you want I'm just giving it a darker brown and with the same dark brown color I'm just putting a tiny bit it's going to be a line just under the nose to define the nose and here you can see I'm covering the body with the rest of the brown the same brown color after attaching the brown wool I'm going around the eyes again just defining them with a dark brown color So it makes all the difference and they look like eyelids and the color around the eyes now they don't seem to be popping out of the head the body seems shorter I'm adding more brown color to the bottom so it's more rounded and a little bit bigger so I'm just mixing some color and making 
hands and feet and they're going to be really simple I'm not making anything detailed just roll some wool and the feet are going to be in the front and the back paws you can say are going to be slightly bigger than the front ones so this way I'm going to make four of them and with guarded wool it becomes really easy and faster as well just roll some wool and stab it into shape with four of them made I'm attaching the bigger ones at the bottom of the body and they are going to be the feet and the smaller one just below the chest I'm going to cover the rest of the tummy part with a lighter color and some white around the chest Now for the ears, I've sh uh, just placed some colors as I want them to be, turned them over and I'm giving it shape of the ears. So if you want lighter color on top, you can place a lighter color there and make the shades accordingly as you want them and then turn them over and fill them, them down. So the the area facing the mat will be neater and that's going to be the top so this is going to be the bottom part that goes next to Bunny's body and here I'm adding pink color to it so as you can see this is the inner side of the ear and the outer side is the other one making the edges neater holding the ear between two coasters and I've learned this technique from Philippa thanks to her really nice tutorials and after attaching the ears I've always make them bigger just cutting off the extra bits and I have ironed the ears with the, the hair straightener so they're really nice and crisp I'm building down some bits and I've cut down the extra wool that was sticking out and now this bunny is uh, a bit fluffy but not very fluffy so I'm using carded wool and I'm attaching it as you can attach the fur so just taking a bit and attaching it like the fur going round around the middle I'm just going to add two or three layers of it because I don't want it extra fluffy And as I have colored the body, you know, I don't have to worry about the white part sticking out. So just like you attach the fur, then a straight line round the middle. Turn it down and felt it again so it's nice and secure. So I think this is all the fluff I need. Don't want it to be super fluffy. making it nice and secure with my needle once I'm happy with it I'm 
I'm going to give it a trim so I think it needs a bit more right at the bottom so I get a nice roundness so I'm testing another layer so it's three layers in total and I haven't uh, felt them right next to each other there's a gap I'm just trimming off the extra bits and giving it a nice shape nice and round and where the ears have been attached I'm making I'm adding some more fluff so it doesn't look odd this is the bunny done it did take two to three hours but as you can see the video is quite short <laughs> just brushing with an eyebrow brush making sure everything is nice and symmetrical and it is done thank you for watching and do subscribe for more thank you very much